In this video, I will give a name to the ones who kidnap, torture and kill our children in a highly organised way. See the Pharaoh Show and the Octagon Switzerland series for the basic information. The pharaonic pedophiles Marc Dutroux and Michel Fournier belong to Octagon, the executional force and military wing of the Templars, who kidnap the children for Hexagon, the inner circle of Freemasonry, who again protect the Satanists through their jurisdictional authorities. And if you take the square and compass, it forms a hexagram and the Templars cross and the Templars flag of the motherland Switzerland form an octagon when lines are drawn around. The police is octagon, like octagonal, like the hat. I show this in one of my other movies, which protects hexagon, the, uh, the hexagram, the, uh, the square and compass when they have their satanic ceremonies in their castles like Sotu, like here on the picture, which sounds like Satan, Sotu, Satan, meaning Set on, Seth, the pharaonic lord of darkness. And um, this castle here, it has been proven that this uh, Michel Fournier, it belonged to him actually, and uh, they tortured and murdered children here. It is in Luxembourg and it's not very far from the other castle where Marc Dutroux, where he killed and where they had black masses with our children. It's all in the same region. It's a lot of forests, you know, nobody sees anything. Uh, there's even uh, traps in there I saw on YouTube. So, Sotu, Satan, Satan, it's, it's from Seth, I know this. Um, yeah, it's all pharaonic, it's the Per A. And here, the other castle, Chateau Amérois, which means in pharaonic, A, Me, Roi. A means big or pregnant. Me, Mer or Meru is the word for pyramid. And Roi, is a king in French, in plural. So Amérois means kings of the big pyramid. A, me, roi. A, me, as in the word America. America. A, me, ri, ka, which I explain in the Pharaoh show. And um, I found out something here which cannot be seen here yet and which nobody knows, which I'm going to show to you just in a minute, which is very, very important. So in this castle here, Marc Dutroux, the other satanic pedophile of the, um, the octagon uh, delivering the kids for the other ones, he, um, they did their parties here. And this castle is just next to the other one, it's not far away. It's supposed to be in a satanic triangle. I don't know what the other point is. These satanists and rulers of the earth belong to the Per A, where the word Pharaoh comes from etymologically, meaning the big royal house of the Pharaonic dynasty to which all nobility worldwide belongs to. So, here we can see the castle of A Me Roi, meaning the kings of the big pyramid. So now I'm going to show you what I found. See the Pharaoh show? Well, this is the sun hieroglyph, there's no doubt. And in the middle, they even put the, uh, the octagon or the uh, Swiss flag. Now why do they put a Swiss flag here? And the, uh, the castle was built in 1788, so Switzerland already existed. And, um, and big in fact are their royal castles 
where here Ah Me Roi shows the sun, sun hieroglyph and the Swiss flag of the motherland and biggest base Octogon Switzerland and Switzerland has to stay clean and neutral so they do it in Belgium and elsewhere coming with private airplanes for a weekend in the castle performing black masses in fact here you can see some more sun hieroglyphs here's the one with the Swiss flag here and there is another one this is sun hieroglyph I mean why do you think they put it like this you know with the white things there and here's two more yeah so this is the castle Dutroux castle and when a person gets tortured over a long period of time thus slowing down the pace of dying then the soul can be lifted out and used as a sacrifice to Seth on set on Satan like in Soto the castle and they use very young children because they're still very near to their spiritual home of the souls and because adults can offer more resistance disabling the process then when someone someone dies quickly by a gunshot for instance they cannot intercept the soul leaving the body instantly and long incessant torture makes a person want to escape which he can't because he's tied up making his mind fleeing only into other dimensions thus splitting the mind into two or more schizophrenic personalities enab enabling hypnotic suggestions to the created double personality as let your soul go and give it to us the castle a me roi was built in 1877 by or for the père a house of Saxe Coburg Gotha Gotha the British royal family I mean it's their house where Dutroux where they you know they had black messes and murder children and if the Saxe Coburg Windsor's Gothas were in fact real Germans then why don't they go on a holiday to Germany go and drink beer with the Germans and eat sauerkraut with the at the Oktoberfest they don't they don't like the Germans and instead they attend skiing holidays in Klosters in the motherland Octogon Switzerland where they've stashed all their money and gold as well so Sex Coburg has nothing to do with Germany actually. It is um, it is Swiss and Pharaonic. And at the same time they attend super rich Swiss boarding schools for the Per A elite only. While Switzerland is financing Adolf Hitler, while foreigners are being represented by all sort of animals in Switzerland where they had eugenics programs until 1996 and they sterilized thousands of gypsies in the 60s and the 70s and they had children slaves until 1989 and at the same time the pharaohs have a, a rosy life hey eh? and here is their heraldry and we can see half of the logo of the CIA at the right side that means they're not completely uh, outfolded yet and uh, they're in the school they are only half of what are, of what are they are becoming eventually you see Le Rosé. I'll show you some more. Anyway, so what, another one, Monte Rosa, in the same colors as Switzerland, red and white, with the half moon, and I see the Ma'at Pharaonic symbol. 
and these pharaohs having a swell life while others are suffering and at the same time as the Swiss are building three large concentration camps for immigrants. Nice. And here's another one. You see the uh, the medieval stuff there with the knights and the Templars and the, with their weapons and well this is Switzerland. They have a nice life while they uh, well, they kidnap our children, yeah? This is uh, two-step Switzerland. Amazing uh, contrast. There's no other part in the world you find these sort of contrasts here. Nowhere else. This is not Europe. I mean, they are not Europeans. The Swiss are not. The name Coburg is from Kaburg. Ka, the soul in Pharaonic when still alive, and Burg, a stronghold or castle in German or French, meaning the castle where our pharaonic souls of Per A are. And in fact, Michel Fournier of the Sotou Satanic Castle earned this name in particular after a long family tradition in Octogon, the Executional Military Templar Wing, in serving hexagon, the inner circle by delivering the kings or Tsar, see the Pharaoh show, with sacrificial children. The Fournier family literally earned its name like this. Yes, etymologically deriving from the French word fournir, meaning to deliver, a name which used to be fournirois instead of fournier. The guy who delivers the kings and wears his majesty's royal seal and heraldry. In French, Fournier vient étymologiquement suite au service au roi à travers des siècles du nom fourni roi, donc celui qui fournit le roi. Avec no gosses quoi. My son Myron was kidnapped 10 years ago by the Swiss monsters of the Per A motherland octagon Switzerland. I never had any life signs ever since. My son was only two years old when they ripped him out of my life and I assume he's dead. And ever since I'm going through hell, 15 years, torture, and plain terror executed by Octogon, the Swiss Nazi Templar police, ordered by Hexagon, the jurisdictional authorities of Octogon, Switzerland, the base of all evil and enemy of mankind, because they want to silence me up and forget my boy, and forget about what they did and are still doing. Here it shows how they want to put me in prison for speaking out on YouTube. Well, they don't like YouTube and in Switzerland it's not allowed for a foreigner to criticize Switzerland. But here you can see that the Swiss Nazi police are in fact wearing the symbol of the Italian fascist, the, um, the Mussolini Nazi symbol. I mean... What do you want? I mean, this this is a Nazi symbol, the same as Hitler had and and uh, the Nazis and Mussolini. It's here. I mean, look at it. It's on a it's on a Swiss police badge. And uh, well, they're probably going to send the police again because I criticised them and I said, "Don't do what you're doing." Um, there's no liberty of speech here. Well, the Swiss, they can say what they want, but they don't, you know, they, they... Laws of silence are ruling in Switzerland. Well, you can see, again, the Faches, where the word fascism is from. Here, on the left, there it is, like the Swiss police is wearing it. There's the Faches. And fascism was invented in Switzerland anyway. It's not German or Italian. It's... Templar stuff. 
And here again we can see the same fatches, the same symbol as on the, uh, the Swiss police canton uh, police badge. Uh, this is of the German Waffen SS and uh, a badge what, what the Italian uh, volunteers in the Waffen SS used to wear. So in the, uh, well, I mean, the Waffen SS still exists in Switzerland, you know. So if I say the Swiss police are Nazis, well here's the proof that what I say is right. It's there. So this is the Swiss national hat. You see here the yeah, the Templars flag in the same colours, the simplified Templars flag. And it says, oh, clean Switzerland, you know. And look at how small it is. Like, here you can compare it with this here. It's very small. It doesn't even fit on my head, does it? I mean, and this is not European. I mean, nobody has this in Europe. Uh, I've seen it somewhere though, this sort of thing. It's like a little pancake. Where did I see this? Hey? I saw it on two other occasions. Well, the Pope wears it sometimes. And I saw it somewhere else as well. Well, look, this is all what they're sending me. This is about... This here is only about the... Uh, about YouTube. Look at it. It's only about YouTube. All these, look at it. All this thing, all this terror. Because it's not allowed in Switzerland, you know, to criticize Switzerland. Switzerland is clean. You know, and I've already got 10 times as much as this here over, the, over 15 years of their terror. Well, it's old one, it's still flat. So, here just a couple of the things they're sending me. Look, this is the judge here. Mr. Baylor on um, 2012 and it's about YouTube. They don't like YouTube. The Swiss are saying here they don't like YouTube. They don't, you know, they want to hide things, you know. They, and, and it's not allowed to criticize Switzerland. Okay, it's okay to kidnap my boy. I haven't seen him in 10 years. I don't know if he's alive. I assume he's not there anymore. Uh, they make a foreigner, they tortured me and many others. That's okay, you know. Well, they, they signed the, uh, the human rights conditions like on November the 4th, uh, 1954. But okay, well, they were just, you know, otherwise we can't make any good business anymore with Europe if we don't sign this all, you know. That's why they signed it. And in case a Swiss person will have some problems, like in a foreign country, that's why they signed it. Yeah, it says, YouTube, they want me to take it off. So in 2011, I got aggressed by a cop who tried to lie something together to put me, the foreigner, in prison. And um, he hit me, I filmed him. And, um, well, they don't want this. And my other videos, you know, here it is. Two signatures, another one, Mr. Bertschi, the president, the jurisdictional hexagon president. So octagon, they executed this here, what the hexagon uh, um, commanded and gave the orders like to. So torture is okay, you know, for foreigners and killing foreigners and, and, and presenting them as all sort of animals financing Hitler in 1923, uh, the country was founded by the Templars and all that, that's all fine, you know. They murdered our child, our other child, my wife was pregnant when we got aggressed by Swiss Nazis, that's okay, you know, no problem. But wow, if you put a video and criticize Switzerland on YouTube, wow then you get problems. Then we're going to activate the jurisdictional authorities. All the other things, well, that's okay, you know, I mean, I mean, it's the Swiss who did it, so that's okay, yeah, you see? Yeah. Um, the Swiss are very, very much afraid of the, uh, the American First Amendment. Uh, they want to keep it all clean, like under the carpet, yeah, you see? Um, 
Yeah, they, they want to pay. Uh, they want to have me pay. You know, enormous amounts of money. I don't know, it's already like two hundred thousand Swiss francs. They want me to pay. There's a ransom of hundred th of hundred fifty thousand Swiss francs for the kidnap of my son. They want a ransom. Well, I, I don't even know if he's alive. You know, and they want to. Uh, the um, the police want me to pay forty thousand Swiss francs because I um, I filmed their their corrupt cop. And I've got three witnesses, and I filmed them. So, but here they just do what they want. They don't care about anything. It's a bunch of criminals, and they're very, very organised here in Switzerland. It's amazing. Yeah, but well, I thank you, YouTube. You're my only pal.